Is it the end of the road for the internal combustion engine? The more ethanol you put in your fuel, the more uh, reduction of, C of greenhouse gas emissions you get. So it's a, it's a very practical, very easy, very cost-effective way as well to reduce not only greenhouse gas emissions, of course, but to reduce the usage of, uh, of, of fossil fuels. You might think petrol cars will soon be a thing of the past. Uh, but we can do much more than what we do today, and this can be done with the existing cars, with the existing infrastructure. Technologies are evolving, but it's time for a reality check on what Europe's roads will look like in the years to come. We need to decarbonize the economy, you know, everybody knows that, and the European Union is really striving at the moment to try to, to reduce carbon emissions. And the transport sector is by far one of the biggest, uh, I mean, one of the largest sector where emissions are not only important, but also still increasing. Most new cars in the EU still run on liquid fuel. And even in 2030, these cars will still be the vast majority of the fleet, but we still need to reduce their emissions. Fortunately, the EU has a homegrown solution that is reducing reliance on fossil fuel and can still do even more with the right policy choices. Renewable ethanol. Ethanol is a synonym for alcohol. So our European ethanol is produced out of um, uh, feedstocks like uh, sugar syrups, corn, barley, wheat, and or in our agricultural waste and residues. But uh, most importantly for e-pure, um, ethanol is also used as a fuel when it's blending with uh, petrol. If you calculate and if you compare uh, burning bioethanol instead of by burning uh, fossil fuels or gasoline, then you reach a reduction of greenhouse gas emissions by, uh, on average, at EU level by 75.5%. Renewable ethanol can be used now in existing cars and infrastructure, ensuring no one is left behind in the transition to carbon neutrality. Renewable ethanol is the EU's best, most cost-effective option for reducing CO2 emissions today and tomorrow.